Third day of ugly dolls. Third day of ugly dolls. Ah. Hey boys and girls, welcome to day three of our ugly doll project. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to start showing you how to sew. So, to sew, you're going to need thread and a sewing needle. Please, please, please be exceptionally careful with your sewing needle, okay? It is sharp. You should not sit there and try to poke the tip because it is sharp. It can hurt you, okay? Please, please, please be careful with this. Never, ever, ever, ever set it down on just a table, okay? If you set down your sewing needle, you set it on your bag. That way you know where it is and it doesn't have a chance to roll away. Okay, always on your bag or in your bag. For the rest of this video, it's going to work a little differently. I'm going to be teaching you different stitches and how to get your sewing needle going. Then I'm going to show you how I'll use that stitch or technique on my ugly doll. All these videos that I'm going to show you that show the techniques up close are going to be separated all on your canvas page. So you can click them and find them very easily whenever needed. So without further ado, let's get started. Lesson number one will be threading your sewing needle. Take your thread and pull the length of your arms stretched out. Cut the thread and thread it through the eye of your needle. If it's too frayed and isn't working, try adding water to the end. Pull the string through so the ends are even. Tying a knot in your sewing needle. To tie a knot at the end, you're going to do one of two things. The first method is to pinch it between your fingers so there's a small tail. Wrap it around so it pinches the tail and wrap it one more time. Slowly twist it off your finger. Hold on and pull. This will make a knot. This method is the hardest method to make a knot. So don't worry if you don't get it on the first try. To make another knot, try this. Crisscross to make a loop. Reach through the loop, pull your string closed. Do the same thing over and over. Make a loop, reach through the loop, and pull your string. Keep repeating until the knot is big enough. And there we go. How to sew a running stitch. To sew a running stitch, you need to first start by poking your needle through the back. Now you go back down in a straight line. Come back up close to your stitch and go back down. A running stitch can keep going straight or you can turn it and it can go anywhere you want. The main point is you go over, under, come out pull all the way and go back down, pull all the way. And that is how you do a running stitch. 
So I'm going to start out situating it where I want it. That looks good. And I'm going to come from the back. Watch your fingers, okay? And you're going to poke it through. Okay, now if you poke it and you're like, I don't want it there, poke it in a different spot. Once you pull the needle through, you can't go back, okay? It's stuck, that needle's not going back through. Pull it all the way until that knot is on the back and it's nice and tight, okay? Now, to do my running stitch, I'm going to go back under and pull it all the way. Okay, see the little stitch? Now I'm going to poke it back through the other way. It's like a dolphin jumping in and out of the water. Uh-oh, do you see it got stuck? That's okay. Just pull. There we go. Alrighty, and now I go back under. And do you see my stitches are close to each other and they're small, okay? You should not be able to fit your pinky in between your stitches. Okay, if your stitches are farther apart than your pinky, you have to start over, okay? Because things are going to all fall apart. And the way that you do this is kind of up to you, okay? I like to hold mine with my pointer finger and my thumb, but sometimes I hold it a different way. That's kind of whatever works and feels comfortable for you. How to tie off your string when you're finished. Start by going under the closest stitch. Pull your string through a little bit and stop before the loop gets pulled tight. If it does, start over again. Go through the loop, pull, pull, pull. Before it gets tight, go through that loop. Go underneath, pull, pull, pull before it gets tight. Go through the loop. And usually I recommend doing this three times just for good luck. And tight. You can then cut your string. Never cut it too tight or it could come undone. How to sew a zigzag stitch. Start from the back, pull your string through all the way, and go back down diagonally. Start from the bottom, pull all the way through, and connect to the tip. There's one zigzag. Start again, but on the other side, on the top, and connect to the bottom. Start again on the bottom, and connect to the top. Start again on the top and connect to the bottom. And keep going. Alrighty, now I'm going to start from the back so I can hide that knot. And it is going to be a little harder to push through two layers. So what you do is you poke it and then you use the table to push through all the way. Okay, the table is your friend. So I've got it on the inside. I'm going to go diagonally to the outside and pull it through. Now I'm going to poke it up 
through the eye again. There. And to make a zigzag, I need another diagonal line to connect to here. So I'm going to go back through that one. Okay, I'm going to pause because I have the width, that means this area, of my thumb left, okay? And I wanted to do something fun and special with the eye. But for that, I'm going to need some stuffing. So I'm gonna grab that. Okay, so this is our stuffing. It's very foofy and floofy. It's like a little cloud. So I'm going to stuff my eyeball so it pops up. I'm really excited for this. It'll be poofy. Now, it's hard for me to get the stuffing in there. So you can use your pencil to push some stuffing in. Okay. I'm going to push a little bit in. I don't want to do too much or I might actually rip my stitching. I got just a little bit. Just enough so it pops up. There we go. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> now, as we go with this, I'm going to give you more and more stuffing. If you are at home, I will send stuffing home with you. And if you need more, you're going to have to message me on Canvas and let me know. If you're at school, I'll just give you more as we need it. Okay. Now, I am ready to sew it shut. All right, keep going. And see, you literally just pick up where you left off. Uh-oh, this is getting short. What does that mean? <gasps> I need to stop. Oh, I was close. Okay, I'm gonna cut it close to the tip so I have as much as I can. I'm going to get more string. Do, 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 do. How to add more string to your sewing needle. If you run out of string, stop when it's the length of your pinky. Never keep going if it's smaller. Cut your string as close to the sewing needle as you can. Rethread your sewing needle with more string. Pull it so they're even and tie the two together. Crisscross, loop through, pull. Crisscross, loop through, pull. And one more time, crisscross, loop through, pull. There we go, you can keep sewing. If these little tails bother you, you can cut them so they're a slightly shorter length. Never cut them too close or you might end up cutting your knot. How to sew a spoke stitch. Start out by coming through the back and go back down vertically. Start out making another stitch next to the other one and go back down. Come back up, vertical again. And keep going. Alrighty, so I'm going to poke it through the sides. Pull, 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 pull. A spoke stitch has its name because of the little lines that are on a tire for your bike. Those are called the spokes. 
And if you notice, they go out. This one is very similar to the running stitch. Only the running stitch, they go horizontal. The spoke stitch, all the lines are going to go vertical. So let me show you what that means. Instead of going over here to attach it, I'm going to go on the outside. Like that. I'm going to poke next to it so it's nice and close. I'm emphasizing that to you a lot because remember, if yours are too big, you're going to have to start over. And I go back on the outside. And see, they look like little lines and they're just next to each other instead of connecting like the running stitch does. So you can see sewing is just a lot of ways of almost drawing lines with your sewing needle. Okay. Ooh, you know what I should do? I should show you a very common mistake that happens. You ready for it? I'm gonna go like this. Uh oh, do you see what I did? I did not go around the correct way. So now I have this lovely loop here. You know what we have to do? We have to cut it and reattach the string. So I'm gonna flip it over. All right, I'm gonna cut it so I have at least my pinky length left. Pull, pull, pull. Oops. <laughs> Well, now I have this and I need to pull it through so it's on the back. So I need to pull that last stitch. So I'm gonna put my needle under, pull. This might be easier with my fingers, there we go. Okay, so now I could tie this string to here and keep going, but um, that's not much left. I might as well just get more string. Tie them together. And now I can keep going. And I'm going to speed this one along. There we go. I've gone all the way around with the spoke stitch. So you can really see, um, oops, I almost broke my rule. Ah, there we go. You can really see what I said where the back kind of looks like a mess. And look how nice the front looks. Those are the stitches I'm just gonna show you for today. I'll show you more next time, but I really wanna give you time to work. And also, you're welcome to make up your own stitch if you come up with an idea, okay? At the end of the day, you're going to just keep your sewing needle attached, okay? Don't cut your sewing needle at the end of the day. If at the end of the day, time is called, you're done, you're just going to keep it attached, but just very carefully fold this up without poking yourself with the needle. Make sure you have all of your goodies that you made. Put everything in your bag, including your spool of thread. Okie dokie. I hope you have fun. Please don't worry if you're still cutting out more things to add. Today, it's okay if you don't start sewing yet, okay? But I hope a lot of you get the chance to. Have fun! Please also feel free to check out all the tutorials I put on Canvas for you. I also wanted to mention that that whole thing took me a half hour in real time. I know I speed things up a lot for you, but that was a half hour of work. So please don't worry if you don't get that far today.